Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion. I am your host. Your ghost host. Our tour begins here in the portrait corridor. As you walk down the hallway, be sure to gaze upon some of the mansion's most notorious guests. Most of our residents refer to them as the Sinister Eleven, a collection of rogues, ne'er-do-wells, cutthroats, and worse. Tread carefully as you proceed down this corridor. They tend to be curious about strangers visiting the mansion. Curiosity, or perhaps something more sinister. Several members of the Sinister Eleven include femme fatales like the Opera Glasses Lady. There are few things that escape her sight, or her feline companion. What about the beautiful Miss April December? They say youth is wasted on the young, but time has a funny way of catching up with all of us. And while we're on the topic of beauty, Let's take a moment and discuss the mythological maiden, Medusa. She's likely one of the mansion's most infamous residents. Medusa once had charms. To gain her love, a rival crowd of envious lovers strove. They who have seen her own, they ne'er did trace more moving features in a sweeter face. Yet above all, her length of hair, they own in golden ringlets, waved and graceful shone. During her time in the land of the living, she served as high priestess for the goddess Athena. Medusa was so exquisite, she would often catch the attention of men visiting the temple. Some even felt she was more beautiful than Athena herself. She even caught the attention of Athena's rival, the god of the seas, Poseidon. After a brief courtship, the two lovers were discovered by Athena in her temple. The goddess was so furious, she transformed the beautiful Medusa into a hideous gorgon. After her metamorphosis, Medusa appeared with scales, fangs, snakes for hair, and a terrifying scare that would petrify any man who dare lay eyes on her and turn them into stone. After Medusa went into hiding, the goddess Athena sent several warriors on a quest to slay the hideous Gorgon. However, none of the warriors would escape the powerful glare of Medusa. It took a demigod to bring Medusa's reign of terror to an end. Perseus was a hero and a son of Zeus. He was sent on a quest for the head of Medusa. Perseus was able to use his shimmering bronze shield to view her reflection. And that's how this Gorgon met her demise. Oh, I'm sorry if that story may have frightened you prematurely. We here at the mansion are no strangers to decapitation. The young demigod then used Medusa's head to battle with a colossal kraken. A kraken is a frightening sea creature that appears in several myths and legends. You might have heard the tales of how Davy Jones, ferryman of the dead, employed a deadly kraken in order to terrorize the seven seas. And let this day be cast by we who ready to wait. The Kraken! Come to think of it, Davy Jones also had an unfortunate affair with a temperamental sea god, which led to a terrifying transformation. I wonder if Davy Jones and Medusa visit the same barber. 
Medusa claims residence at several creepy crypts around the world. She even makes an appearance in Hong Kong at Mystic Manor, where the marvelous Medusa mosaic makes a metamorphosis in the Mediterranean Hall, changing from a gorgeous girl to a garish gorgon. Visitors at the Magic Kingdom can safely view a portrait of Medusa as well. On a stormy night at the Haunted Mansion, a flash of light can bring about a frightening change. Incidentally, we experience stormy nights quite frequently here. We find it delightful. So next time you visit the Haunted Mansion, keep an eye out for a sweet, delicate damsel. But beware, she might transform into something so horrifying you'll find yourself petrified with fear. Now, let us know what you think. Have you ever caught a glimpse of Medusa at the Haunted Mansion? Are there any other residents you'd like to learn more about? Tell us about it in the comments section below. And why not take a moment to watch one of these other films highlighting the residents of The Haunted Mansion. <laughs>